Hello everyone, I thought I would just jump on and do a really quick tutorial of Substack Video. There's been a small update um, and for some of you, you might be seeing this from the back end for the first time. I'm about to put a video post live, so I thought I would just seize the opportunity and show you guys from my kitchen how it's all working. Um, okay, so we're going to go over here into the video that I have just loaded in. So this is in Substack video. So when you go to hit a new post, um, you can make it a new video post, um, then you'll get an upload screen and you can upload it here. You've got something that Substack call a draw or your settings that you can have a look at here. So in here, you can um, opt to have a transcript and captions, which absolutely turn that on. We like to be as accessible as possible. And then you've got something called clips. So Substack will make these snippets for you and you can watch them just by pressing the play button and see what you think, see if you want to edit them slightly. And then you can download them with this button here. These are great for sharing on notes, little snippets or across on social media. So it'll give you a few options there of different snippets that you can share from the podcast. Obviously, it's all done by AI, so you might have to sort of sense check where they have put the preview. You can add a guest here. It's not possible to add Linda because she doesn't allow um, guests, but so it'll pop up to say that, but that's fine. Usually you would be able to add your guest. And then you've got this new button, auto upload to YouTube. So I have a YouTube channel and I definitely want to upload it. I also wanted to paywall part of this video. So we're just going to see how that all goes with that. Um, fingers crossed it works. So it's just like a regular post. So your video will be at the top. I've already set up the free preview here. So I'll just show you again how to do that. So free preview, and then it's going to give you the option to set the preview where you want to set the preview. So I want to have a bit of Linda on there and um, a little bit of the introduction is fine. And then I'll set that. So it's telling me, telling me 30, 30, 30 minutes. I don't know why it would say that. I don't, I don't think it is 30 minutes. I think it's just to there. Try that. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Um, and then I've gone ahead and written my copy. I've used Cast Magic, which is an AI tool to list some of the takeaways in the episode. I'm just going to change the American spelling because I'm in the UK. <laughs> um, and then I put in a timestamped overview. I've got a couple of book recommendations in there and some other substacks that Linda mentioned. So it's all ready to go. So I'll press continue. It's going to be for paid subscribers only. And I've got this free preview set up. So hopefully that all worked and that was okay. And then allow comments from, mm, I'll probably keep it on paid for now. Enable people to use their redeem uh, coupon is fine. Simple Substack advice, I think is a good tag for that. I don't usually tag my podcast, but I think given that this is a Substack member of staff, it's a good one. So this auto upload to YouTube, the name of it is Leaning Into Your Unique Genius with Linda at Substack. Now, I usually just on YouTube put Sparkle on Substack with X, but we'll leave it at that. The description is obviously pulled through from your um, description under the title, and then the visibility is public or unlisted. So I'll put it as unlisted for now because I want to make sure paid subscribers get this before anyone else. So I'll go ahead and schedule it for Friday. I'm going to do it at the um, 3 a.m. slot. There we go. Um, and send that out. All done. I'm not going to recommend them because I've never really read much of their stuff. So to go back in and show you how to do a video post from the start. It's just this one here. And then obviously you're going to select your file and then my, um, I'll pick one of these actually, which is one of the, um, the snippets that I made earlier on. And that's just going to upload right in there. So yeah, it's all relatively simple and easy. And then I will just circle back and let you guys how that all worked on YouTube. Um, 
on Friday when it goes live. So we can have a little look at that together. I think with video, and we talk about this a lot in the podcast, you know, it's good just to experiment and to give things a go and Substack are rolling it out with the media tab. So on our app, we have now like the, on the third spot along, we've got this media tab. So anytime you put out a podcast or um, any media, it's going to go into there. So it's really good to be starting to experiment with video if you feel comfortable to do so. If you don't and you need more support, then please let me know because I can put on more classes. We do have some in the A to Z where I did a whole month of staying creative with video and experimenting with video. So you can find those, um, but it can be, it can just feel a bit strange to get into it to start with. Um, I'll just let this upload a couple of minutes so you can see how it just pops in. My internet is laboriously slow, but... I'm going to let you um, see this and then we will wrap up and head off. Let's be a couple of minutes. Do, do, do. <laughs> Go on, some step. <laughs> Oh, and it's going to process it. You'll see how it all pops in in a second. I should say that if you wanted to add a separate section for your video or, you know, think about how you wanted them to display from the home page, then it's definitely worth thinking about because if you've got video pulling through on your home page, people will be curious to click that um, and have a little look at it. Um, so it is worth thinking about how you might organize bits of video. Right, there we go. So already it's popped in there and then we've got all the options again now remember this is just one of the clips so there's not going to be much in terms of the length here but basically it's gonna that's how quick it's gonna translate the transcript and then in terms of settings and stuff it's all the same you can edit the thumbnail if you want to select it from the timeline it's always I think it's such a beautiful tip to actually smile at the camera and then know that you've got that. So like that would be OK, but it would have been better if I was just like for a few seconds just smiling before we started recording. I always forget to do that. Um, but yeah, that's that one. Um, yeah. OK, guys, well, I hope that's super, super useful and I will circle back and let you know how it all works on the YouTube end when I've done that.